Before this video begins, I just want to apologize about the audio quality. Something happened when I saved the video. Even though I saved it in HD, I'm probably going to end the series off here just until the problem is fixed. However, I don't know how long it's going to take. Hopefully you guys will enjoy anyway, so let's get started. There we go, Fern is evolving. Yes. What's up, Agent Zero here, and welcome back to some more Evil Creo. Now, it's been a while since the last time I played this game. First, my rec uh, recorder started crashing, and then the last time I tried to record this, um, the game actually uh, crashed itself. So, anyway, welcome back to some more Evil Creo. So, this episode, I actually have a goal. But before I tell you guys what's going on, let me go ahead and show you what's been happening. So, I actually recorded an episode, and that was when my recording failed, and all I was doing in that particular episode was leveling up my Creo, because I actually have to take on a guy in this episode, and I was not strong enough. So, we're gonna be t yeah, I effectively, uh, just followed what I was going to do, but I'm not going to explain too much just yet. So, I was leveling up, and I actually picked up something which I actually already used in that failed recording. So, if I go ahead, is it in this one? No. No. There we go. Take a look. Gemmas. Now, what these gemmas do, when you use it on a Creo, it will increase their affinity to a certain element. Now, the reason why I already used this is because I was using it on Fern. So, if I go ahead and take a look, take a look at Fern's affinity. And I forgot I could do that. Okay. Fern's affinity is to fire, and I picked up a fire Gemma, and I increased his affinity to fire, which he's actually almost done. As soon as he gains his affinity to fire, he will evolve. Now, there's actually something else I want to let you guys know is that I actually gained a few stuff. In between episodes. Well, actually, one thing I gained, I think, last episode, and then something I gained in between episodes. Take a look. I have myself an elite move, which I got last episode, I do believe. An elite move has a high chance to attack, a high attack power, but it has a low recharge. And also, I have another ability. I have shock. Now, this has a fast recharge, and it has a guarantee to hit, or at least that's what it says up here. But, it does not do much damage, and I originally had Rumble attached to it. But, Shock actually does a lot more damage, and I'm going to be using Shock uh, for this upcoming battle. Now, before I actually go ahead and battle this guy, I actually have some place that I want to go, and the guy I want to battle is actually right here. We're going to talk to him in a moment. Right now, what I want to do is I want to go into this building right here. This is Colmena. Now, if you guys remember, the last episode that actually went up, we took on the Plante Arena, which we're still in Plante Village. Okay? And we beat Leonardo and his genetically modified crew, and we found out that his, um, Furin was actually going to die until they genetically modify him, and he was effectively supposed to be stronger than ever, but he's not stronger than ever because we actually beat him last episode. And it actually saved his life, so we're gonna be going to visit Colmena first. And this is Regina office, and this is the person that we want to talk to really quick. This is Regina, there we go, and she's effectively the person who owns Colmena. Zero, I want to take a moment to personally congratulate you. That being said, the truth is that we have spent a fortune marketing Leonardo and Fern as a sort of official mascots for this company. We hope that Leonardo's victory would go a far way into convincing our owners about the value of genetically modifying their Creo. Tell me, Zero, have you given any thought to genetically modifying your Creo? You should think about it. 
Come back later when you decide to genetically modify your Creo. Okay, so that's what her job is, to genetically modify Creo in this lab. Now, I don't think I'm ever going to spend the time to genetically modify my Creo because I don't think it's necessary. But that's basically what's going on in here, and as you can tell, this police officer has actually gone. That's because we can actually now move on to the next town, but we actually have a guy we want to take care of in this episode. We have a guy that we want to battle before we leave Plante Village, and I want to go up here. So, let's go ahead and talk to this guy right here. His name is Odlair. As you probably know by now, I am Plante Village's RAD, which RAD is actually short for Regional Area Defender. By being me, you'll be one step closer to getting entrance to the Coliseum. If you guys ever have played the Pokemon games, this is effectively like the Elite Four or the Tournament, whatever it's called. I don't know, I have not played Pokemon in a long time. The only Pokemon games I've ever actually played were Game Boy Color. A place where the best of Ogres test their skills. If you can beat me, I will also give you a Creo that I raised on this farm as a gift. Okay, if we beat him, we are actually going to be getting a Creo, which I've actually got a Creo already selected. I've actually got the Evil Creo Wiki set up on my computer right here, and I've got the information set up for this Creo that I'm going to be getting from him. And then again, we have our Fern, which we are going to be leveling up into Fire. So, with that out of the way, let's see what you are made of. Oh yeah, before we begin, I actually forgot to show you guys something. Oddlayer is challenging you to an evil Creo match, and we're effectively outmatched because we have two Creo and he's got three, but that's not really too big of a problem. He summoned Monkopod. Okay, so, here's what I did in between episodes. Again, I went and level leveled up my Creo because I actually needed to do that. And I also went... To the Evo Coach shop, take a look. You see these Sheffa drops. These are effectively potions. I use these on a Creo and it increases their HP, which I actually need for this battle. I've been practicing this battle. I'm not quite strong enough to take him on, which is why I have these Sheffa drops. If I have these Sheffa drops, I should be able to see succeed. I should. So I'm gonna be using these because I bought these from the shop. So here we go, the first thing we're going to do is use our brand new elite move. This is Giga Blast, and <laughs> it missed, crap. And so his, and his attack missed too, okay, that's a problem. Okay, we at least got his attack, okay, that didn't do too much damage. Let's use another Kindle, and so he's gonna fight, that's not a problem, that's not a problem. One more, and we should be able to have our Elite move back. And I do want to heal up right now. Alright. Vine Lash, that's not a big problem. Now let's go ahead and use our Giga Blast. Okay, that's Giga Blast right there. Look how much damage that just did. Okay. Let's go ahead and use Kindle again. Oh, he's burned now. That's good. Oh, this is not good, and he's hurt from his burn. So, now I'm going to go ahead and use this Sheffa Drop now. Because I said I was going to need these in order to take on this battle. Nutcracker, that's not a problem. And he's actually almost gone. Let's go ahead and heal up. And we should be good. Oh, now I'm bleeding. Okay, that's not good. Okay, he's gone. We have lo we've almost re leveled up. He's about to let send out Skolanka. Do I want to switch Creo? No, I do not. Okay. Do I have... I do not. Okay, let's use Shock on him, because if I remember right, he's actually weak towards electrical attacks. Oh yeah, that doesn't help. Okay, so I was hurt from bleeding, which is not good. 
U slam, which doesn't do too much damage. I was hurt from bleeding, which is not good. Crap. I was not expecting that to happen. Okay. Oh, he's been blinded because of my rattle's effect. Now, let's see. Do I have... I have Phoenix Drops. Yes, I have a Phoenix Drop, which I'm going to use on Fern right now. Which recovers some of his health, and he atta his attack missed. Okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and switch. No, I'm not going to switch. I'm going to use another Shepha Drop right now. I'm trying to play this smart here, guys. And he missed again. That's fine. I probably should have grabbed more Phoenix Drops, but I didn't. Hide your plane, and you miss because he's blinded. So let's use another Shock right here. And he's no longer blinded. I'm not going to use my Elite move just yet. And he made it an attack. Oh, crap. I'm now confused. That's not good. And I use Shock. Now, granted I'm using Shock, I should probably use Kindle because the more I use Kindle, the um, higher my chance of actually being able to increase my fire affinity. Alright, so let's go ahead and heal. Okay, let's recover. There we go. I'm no longer confused. Good. Kindle. Okay, he's almost gone. Oh, he's now burned. Good. You slam. Which is fine. It's fine. And he's gone. Good. I've gained more experience points. I've leveled up to level 17. I've locked the new ability Repel Normal. Which, that does not actually do anything unless I'm outside of a battle. Okay, Rado grew up to level 2. He got a new move, Sneak Attack. He's about to send Fyroe out. Do I want to switch Creole? No, I do not. Okay, so this is him and he's a Fire Creole. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. I actually want to do this. Slice? I do not like that move. Okay, we've done a lot more health this time. Pounce, which doesn't do a lot of damage. Giga Blast, and I missed. Great. I do not like that slice move because of that reason. I do not like that slice move because of that reason. Now, unfortunately, these Shepha drops do not heal status effects. And Pounce doesn't do a lot of damage, that's fine. Let's shock him. And he's hurt from bleeding, which is fine. Let's go ahead and heal up. Pounce. Use Recover. There we go. Of course, we're going to get hurt from bleeding. Let's use Giga Blast. I cannot believe that I've missed with Giga Blast as much as I have. Let's use Kindle. Alright. Oh, he's now burned. That's good. No, I don't want to do that. I want to use another Shepha Drop. I know I'm spamming these Shepha Drops, but I'm trying to play this smart here. I'm trying to make sure I don't die. I'm bleeding again, which is not good. But he's burned. He's in Pounce, and he's burned. And I use Kindle again. And I'm hurt from bleeding. Let's use Giga Blast again. Oh, grab! Crap, I am now badly bleeding. Oh, there we go, we're done. And we have beat Odd Lair. Excellent work. Zero, I received this amount of money for winning. There we go. Fern is evolving. Yes. And he's evolving. 
into a Furin. Now, Furin, as you guys saw, is a Fire Creo. And let me go ahead and pull out Furin's page. Let me pull out this tab. Okay, so what's really good about Furness? I've been saying Furin, but this is actually Furness. He actually has a few abilities, which those are things that you can use outside the battle while you're traveling through the world. He can gain two specific abilities that I really like. He can gain Ride, which I can basically sit on him and effectively, well, ride him across places. He also has Lava Surf, which there are certain places in this game that have lava pools. And Lava Surf effectively is swim, except it's with lava, and he can Lava Surf. I heard about your performance at the arena, and I can't say I'm not impressed. Uh, you've proven yourself to be skill, a skill evoker, so here, take this. I've received Zenith Key number one. Oh, I just skipped a part. I'll have to go back and see what he said. Now, meet me in the barn for your gift. Okay. Now, let me go ahead and show you what we earned. We earned this piece of the Zenith Key. And we've actually got... No, we have points unlocked. Can we use anything? Um, Creo regen costs five, so it regenerates while I'm moving. I've unlocked that. Okay. I did not know if I could use that. Okay, no, I don't want to go to the menu. That was the wrong button. So let's go ahead and step in here. And there's Oddlayer right there. Let's go ahead and say hi to him. Zero, your skills as invoker have impressed me. I feel like I can trust you with one of the Creo that I've raised on this farm. Go ahead and pick one of the Creo in the pens above. And I've already got a Creo picked out. Skalanka is a natural troublemaker, but also quite intelligent. Except Skalanka to become more wise and agile as it evolves. Is this your favorite Creo? Well, I wouldn't necessarily say favorite. But, strategic-wise, this is what I want. Excellent choice. Now continue your journey with your new Creo. I'm sure we will see each other again. Okay, so let's step outside. Okay, now I have the page up for Skolanka as well. Now, Skolanka does not have any particular abilities that I like. However... It evolves into what is called a Skaloon, and further into a Skalorn, which I'm not worried about Skalorn as of yet, but Skaloon, which is what it evolves into next, has two particular abilities I can use. Glide, which allows me to fly over Chasm, as, as the page says, because there's like black bombs pits that I can fly over, and Glide lets me use this. And swim, which allows me to go over bodies of water. And that's why I chose Skalanka. Now let's see, what does Skalanka have? He's at level 5, which means we have to level him up. Without a doubt, we have to level him up in order to increase his strength. Which is obvious. Okay, he has... Peck, and he has Recover, which is fine. He doesn't have anything else, and no traits. We have some work we need to do on this Skalanka. Now, real quick, I'm going to go to Evoco, and going to heal up my Creo. This is, yes, this is the right one. So, the other one is my Creo Portal, which hosts all the Creo that I've caught that I can't carry. Now, we have effectively uh, beaten Plante Village, and we can move on to the next area, which if we go ahead and tap on this, I should tempt my skills in Carbon Arena, which if we go back in here, go to the map. We are currently in Plante Village. The next one over, over is right here, Carbon City, because we're right here, Plante Village, Carbon City, right here. In order to get there, we have to... Cross Largo Bridge, which Largo Bridge is actually down here. If you guys remember that police officer that was there, 
because he's no longer there, we can cross this bridge. Because there was apparently going on some, um, Shadow Hive, um, stuff going on. And after going to Kalemna, we can actually go in there. And down here is actually a body of water. So, while it's going to take a while for our Skalanka to get swim, which Skalanka actually has to get... Uh, evolved into Skaloon first and then reached level 30, which he's currently at 15. We can go into this body of water. Now, let's see. There's really not much we can do in this body of water, though. No, it does not appear. Okay, never mind. I guess we can't go in here, but there are some fish creo in here, so we might come back later and get fish creo. I don't know as of yet, but that's actually going to have to do it. For this video. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. Well, more than make sure that subscribe button for future content. Also, you can follow me on Twitter at agencyp 0 to stay updated. This has been Serious Tues. Thank you guys for watching. And with that, I will see you guys later.